Scott, how's your uh, Friday going? I'm pretty good. You presented us with another riddle today. Yes. You had one last night and you had one, one today. I do, I do. <laughs> I know you're still scratching your head. It was uh, what goes up and down but doesn't move is the riddle of the day today. Any well, I was gonna, I was gonna say uh, weather or like temperatures. But you could you, say that. What's temperatures, that? Temperatures, I guess, go up and down, but they don't. Well, when they go up or down, they technically move. Uh, but do no, they, do just, they move? Uh, the temperature. The well, the, that's why. That's why they have thermometers with uh, the mercury moves, but the temperature itself doesn't move. It does. I guess that fluctuate. could be. I mean, I, it's not the answer I'm looking for. What about an arrow? You know, an arrow that you point up and an arrow that you point down. You said it's in the in the newsroom. So. It is. In, it, it exists in the newsroom, actually. What goes up but doesn't go down. Um, no, what goes up and down but doesn't up move. Up and down but doesn't move. I have no idea. We're a wasting time. A staircase. <laughs> a staircase. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why they're yeah, all riddles. They hey, pay me the big hey. bucks for that, okay? Yeah, that's, <laughs> come up with riddles every day. Keep, <laughs> keep our, all, keeps our minds going. That's all I got. That's yeah. all I got. I'll we're going to we're gonna keep this weather. forecast going, too. Yeah. We're at 104 degrees right now. Thanks for the riddle here in Yuma and in... Uh, El Central, let's take a look outside. Beautiful view out there as the sun's starting to set here. There's downtown, that is 4th Avenue. A slight wind out there as well. Uh, mostly clear skies. Yes, it'll stay that way. Let's take a look at our satellite and our radar, show you what we have going on out there. I forgot to make the slide go first. There we go. Yeah, we're going to be clear and we'll stay clear uh, into the weekend. We'll be uh, sunny to mostly sunny most of the time. Uh, taking a look right now at our future cast, uh, some of the uh, moisture is going to be pulled out. The uh, Midwest now seeing some rain out there. Also remnants of uh, Hurricane Ida still in the northeast of the United States. Those winds, I told you about the winds. I'll get out of the way so you can see what's happening. A gust here or there, depending upon where you're living in the viewing area, but for the most part, we'll be calm tomorrow just after lunchtime with uh, winds, a slight breeze, and single digits. What is this doing to our air quality in the Imperial County? Well, this is brought to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. It's all changed from earlier. It's all nice and good, and the Mexicali is still on the uh, unhealthy, but it is improving just a little bit after I looked at it uh, moments ago. Jumping ahead and taking a look at our current temperatures. Kickoff around the area, high school football. Imperial has a game tonight. Cibola is there, it's 104. El Centro has um, uh, Vincent Memorial at Eagle Field. It's 104 degrees there as well. Hopefully at 104, Palo Verde at 99. Across the state and county line into Arizona. The Yuma Criminals kickoff tonight is at 730. Should be right around 100 degrees then. That uh, kickoff was delayed from 7 to 7.30 tonight. 104 in San Luis, 104 in Summerton, 104 in the Foothills and YPG as well. Our viewer photo sent in by Diana Muro out of uh, Mexicali. Yeah, she sent this, uh, snapped this earlier this week, right before the storms uh, ripped right through the area. Thank you so much, Diana, for sending that in and for being a viewer. We want to see your photos as well. Just scan this QR code. It'll take you right to our weather photo gallery. Upload your photo and include your name there as well. Also, look at all the other photos that people are sending in. Or you can find me on social media or plop it off on our homepage, kyma.com slash share. Our future cast tonight, uh, 88, mostly clear skies tonight night around midnight when you wake up tomorrow morning we'll be at 81 under mostly sunny skies and tomorrow at noon 100 degrees mostly sunny skies we're going to get a lot warmer than that our average is 104 we're going to notice a difference yeah we've been spoiled the last couple of days of being below our average we're going to be above our average as we get into the holiday weekend 107 tomorrow uh, 108 on Sunday. I put the word summer there because I don't know how much longer I'll use it. Uh, I don't have many more days because the, sum, the September equinox is September 22nd. That's the first day of fall. So we are under two weeks left of summer. Chance for some rain next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Same can be said for the Imperial Valley. It's going to be a hot holiday weekend. That's for sure. The winds will pick up on Monday and Tuesday. Again, a chance for some showers later next week on Thursday and Friday. All right. I guess not everybody's a fan of my riddle, Scott. I'm getting some messages from viewers like my friend Cameron telling me that I I guess it just wasn't too funny.